were told that, okay, that, well, you play. And uh, my thing was like, well, I feel like we play here all the time. Like, I don't want to feel, I don't want to overstay my welcome. You know, I love it. This festival means so much to me. So I said, I think we should sit this one out. We'll just come, it'll be chill, it'll be easy. And then, yeah, James Holden <laughs> cur curated Jews in my heart. They're all artists who I respect, and I feel that they're all artists that um, draw an interesting uh, sources for their art. I like to think that that's, that's, that's what uh, Charles and I do in Jerusalem My Heart, that we draw from interesting sources, uh, sort of left field sources, and, you know, cannibalize them and make them our own. Abdul Karim Shahar, um, he is a, a dear friend. Um, from Beirut, he's uh, he's been performing for a very long time. Got his kind of start on uh, like this variety uh, talent show in Lebanon, and uh, what he will be presenting tomorrow is also one of my favorite songs ever written. He's performing it, and this is a little bit of like a gift to me. He's definitely like uh, I wouldn't say cult status because he's more than that, but people recognize him as a, an authority on the genre and and a voice that is extremely respected. <laughs> There's one Alanis and that's it. And she is a filmmaker, and, but she did this one record, this one LP and that came out in 1985. One record, and after that record, that's it. She decided to focus on her cinema career. And the record she made was just a pure masterpiece. Some begging had to be done, but uh, I, uh, I succeeded in telling her that I think it's a good idea that you come and present this again to an audience who has no idea who you are. She's Abenaki but is, she's a Montrealer. Um, and uh, her, her films are, and her record deals with just what her people uh, have gone through, what the status of, of, of what a, uh, a First Nations person, indigenous population deals with on their day-to-day -day life, and even more specifically than that, what uh, women have to deal with. have people's ear and you are given this opportunity to be like to tell people what to listen to I'm not going to program something that anybody has access to and therefore it's an opportunity for them to discover and hopefully fall in love with it like I fall in love with it